Okay, it's selling to women. You right. like this? Okay. <laughs> well, the story behind this is kind of interesting. You know, right now, women are making 85 to 90 percent of all purchases, even in areas that women never, ever purchased before, including, you know, lawnmowers and insurance policies and cars and all the things that typically the guy went and purchased. And so there was a definite need for my clients, and almost all my topics and all my books came from clients and audience members emailing me, talking to me, do you have a book on this? And I'm like, nope, but I will in a year. I will definitely have a book on this. And so every one of my audiences, all my salespeople were saying, we want, you, you talk so much on stage about the differences of selling to men and women. We would love to have this book. And especially men were saying, look, I don't get women. I don't get my own wife. I don't get my daughters. I don't get any of them. But I know that I'm going to have to start selling to women differently. And you have the psychology, kind of you have the background. So this was my first book, Make a Fortune Selling to Women. And there is a fortune to be made when you have 85% of the people making huge purchases are women. And we don't, as anyone knows, we do not you know, think the same as guys. So I printed this out, and it basically sold out within a year. I mean, it was, and it's me. It's funny, and it's entertaining, and it's dead on. I mean, I am right in your face. Here's, <laughs> here's what we're like. I, I, love pull, the I Well, I pull no punches. I mean, we are not always the easiest ones. Um, and we look at the world in a much different way. So at the end of the year, I was ready to reprint the book. Well, now I have women emailing me, because they're huge in sales. And sure. women make great salespeople. And the women are saying, Connie, but where's your book on selling to men? And so rather than having two books, what I did is wrote selling to men. So now we have selling to women here, and we have selling to men on us say make a fortune selling to men. Cheers. And but here's what's kind of interesting. Selling to women is a hundred and eighty-six pages long. Uh-huh. And selling to men is three pages. <laughs> Not that we don't love them, we do. But <laughs> well, and, and this is what's interesting. Often when men hear this, they tend to have their own perception get in their way. And they'll come up and they'll say, ah, oh, well, yeah, leave it to you to only write three. And I said, no, you're taking it wrong. I said, you guys are simple. You're easy. You know what you want. You go in and you buy it. I said, this isn't a reflection on how difficult men are. This is a reflection of us. <laughs> I said, it took 186 pages to, to try to describe everything that goes through our mind in, in the selling and buying process. And I said, I started to write the guys, and at the end of three pages, it was like, well, that, that, that's, that's pretty, <laughs> that pretty well it. Guys know what they want. They go in, they buy it, and they walk out, or they don't buy it, and that's them. But this has been a really, really fun book. I've enjoyed it. Um, it probably sells more than any of my other books. And what I love is that people that read it, especially the guys, they'll say, this isn't just how to sell a product to a woman. I mean, this taught me how to sell my wife on an idea, taught me how to sell my daughter on an idea. So I think both it's men life and skills, it's right? life skills. <laughs> it's totally life skills. So uh, this has become kind of one of those manuals that people tuck away and hide and read all the time. So it's been one of my favorite books. Well, thank you for sharing. Oh, well, you're me. welcome. You're welcome. Thank There's you. your autograph copy. Thank you.